Hey everyone, good evening and welcome to Neele at Night here on the Jesse James Beats Facebook page. If you're unfamiliar with what Neele at Night is, it's a show that we do here live on Facebook on the Jesse James Beats page. And I am a designer and author and I work for Jesse James Beads as a designer for them. And my job is to bring you guys fun, quick, and easy projects using their products and their gorgeous beads, which I love doing every single Neele at night. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys were able to catch the last Neele at night. We made an awesome project. And if you want to check out these projects, we do them live 6.30 in the evenings. And here's what we made last time. Check out this beauty, beauty, beauty. Isn't that just gorgeous? What we did was we took this beautiful strand, well actually let's, let's start with the pendant here because this is the most impressive. Now this is stitched with um, Delicas and Toho's and these are pre-made components that they have on the site. And what we did here is we connected this beautiful fancy floral just with a jump ring. I just use a larger jump ring to connect them together. And then we just attach this beautiful suede cord, isn't that gorgeous? I wanted to give a little pop of color and texture and something different from these glossy beads. Now let's talk about the beads for a second because this was gra I grabbed these from a previous collection from the Emperor collection and I just wanted to mention that any strands that I've used, any of the beads that are put together, they are designed in-house by the Jesse James Beads team. They should be called the team Fabulous Jesse James Beads because they put on beautiful uh, arrangements of beads and styles together in the strands to make it easy for us to design. And this was a product that I got to make for you guys. And not to mention this dazzling chain, look at that. Very sparkly and very cool and wearable. I absolutely dig it. It's sort of a rose gold color too, almost um, not quite copper because it's not dark enough, but it is a beautiful blend of this texture. So I really love this piece. I loved making it for you guys. Uh, live certainly and I hope you will check out the demos because we post them to a couple different places First is our website if you love these demos go to www.jessejamesbeats.com and on the top right hand side You will find a link that says video tutorials and please click on it to find a ton of tutorials on there done by yours truly and we have a lot of fun doing them, and there's tons of bloopers, so I promise if you put it on for an evening, I will have you laughing at some point. Uh, we also upload these same videos to YouTube, so go to youtube.com and go uh, search for Jesse James Beads, and when you find us, please do like any of the videos that you love um, on there, as well as subscribe. We want you guys to be engaged with us to keep up to date with all our videos, so we definitely want to make sure that you're subscribing. Now tonight's project is going to be a ton of fun. I have some simple, relatively simple earrings planned. And I'm going to be using the floral shorties, so let me tell you about those. Now this is a hard, rather than tell you, let me just show you because these are just absolutely dynamic. Now again, that these are designed in-house by their team and put together, so they make it really easy for us. But I wanted to tear this apart and make some earrings out of it. So why don't I flip the camera down so you guys can see my work surface and some of the materials that I've laid out. And I have some other colors of the shorties pulled here um, that I want to show you guys because they are absolutely dynamic. So beautiful. So let me just adjust this camera and get a good focus here going. Perfect. Um, so as I, I showed you guys this strand, which is absolutely gorgeous, right? And what I want to do is show you guys some other color options. So check these out. Aren't these just delicious? Now, I know a good bit of these have sold out already, so I do apologize if I'm showing a color that is gone. Um, their strands go very quickly because they do a limited edition of them. And um, so I highly recommend when you see something you love, do grab it. <laughs> um, it does not stay on for very long, and those people are very lucky to have received them. So that's just a few of them. So I think they have about seven or eight colors in total. Um, so along the shorty, along with it, I'm going to use some jump rings, of course, that I have sitting at the side. I'm going to be using cup chains, so let me show you that first. Isn't that just beautiful? This is the rose water cup chain, which is a beautiful pastel rose gold color combination. Um, 
it, it's just so beautiful. It looks like it does truly resemble its name, Rosewater. <laughs> um, but I thought this was a great pairing with Periwinkle. I think they match beautifully together, so that's going to be awesome. I have um, some cup chain findings here, these little um, crimps, I guess, for lack of a better term that I have setting out at the side. And you guys, um, as I'm saying these materials, my, my friends on the other line here on Jesse James Speeds um, are posting links so that you guys can find these products very easily. We also have a Get the Goods blog post that we put up with all these materials listed in it and it's up to date. So even if I use something different in the video, they are quick to actually update that blog post and get the materials up very quickly for you guys to find. So I appreciate them for doing that. Thank you guys so much for all your hard work. And um, you guys make my job fun and easy to do too, certainly. So, and I just have some earring hooks right over here uh, that I'm going to be putting all this together. So what I was thinking is that first of all, I'm trying to break all this stuff apart. I kind of want to do a longer style earring. And then I saw this really cool wire wrap um, that one of my friends was doing. So I wondered if I can kind of utilize that technique um, with this design because I wanted my rows to be very prominent and sort of the focal point of my earring. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna be using 20, no, let's see, this is 18 gauge wire. So I'm curious to know if it's gonna fit through that hole, which it looks like it might, because it's a pretty good size hole. And um, I'm going to try and wrap around that to create a really cool dynamic earring piece. So we'll see how this goes. I haven't done this yet. And you guys are here to witness either the magic or tragedy <laughs> that this will be. So. I'm gonna need a few pliers for this. I'm going to need a pair of chain nose and a pair of round nose. So I got here, I've got a detail pair of Zoran uh, chain nose pliers and I, I absolutely dig these. These are my absolute favorites. Um, they're so sharp and very detail oriented and I use them for practically everything anymore. And Zoran is a very credible company. They um, are a US company and they make some outstanding pliers that I am in love with. So let's see if I wrap this around and I kind of want to get it halfway. I don't want it to go actually all the way through because here's where the magic part comes in and the part that you don't have to be perfect at. I'm actually just going to try and wrap this around and around to get a messy wrap going. This will create a really interesting sort of a what the name resembles a bush if you will effect to my earring design. So if I can do this, you guys, with some craft wire, I know you guys can. And I'm just gonna go all the way around and around, give it some body. There we go. That looks pretty cool, actually. And I think this will be really neat hung off of the, the little cup chain that we have. So I'm gonna stop right there, actually, because I love that. And I'm just gonna pair of, use a pair of cutters. I'm using a pair of Zoran cutters, too. And they have sponsored my tools, but for a very good reason, because they're amazing <laughs> tools. And lucky for us, Jesse James Speeds have caught on and now are, are distributing these pliers. So thank you guys um, for uh, Jesse James Speeds specifically for tuning in and, and getting these pliers on the website. So love these, they actually have a double blade. And so let me show you how that works. If I cut this, you guys will notice that that does not fling across the room. You see, if I shake it, it's held inside the pliers. Now, how cool is that? That is awesome. So that's what the double blade does, as opposed to just a single blade, which you will probably have a wire flung across the room, and that is not fun, trust me. I have poked several of my appendages with it. So, oh wow, look at that. All right, we got, some, we got something going here, you guys. So I'm gonna use the rest of this wire to see if I can get the same effect going. Uh, if you are viewing this, please do share the wealth and um, post this video on your Facebook page if you are loving what you're seeing. If you love this technique, if you love Jesse James Beads, we love the support and we just want everyone to be one big happy creative family. You guys, that's our mission. We want to, we just want to create a great community, a great positive community. And learn some stuff, of course. I mean, I don't know everything, but certainly these beads have opened up so many possibilities, even for me, and I enjoy just experimenting with you guys. So that's cool. I love where this is going. It's certainly getting to that 
fun bushy effect that I've been wanting. I didn't know if this was actually going to work, but I am pleased that it does. So there we go. Again, this is a 20, uh, not a 20, a um, 16, it's by, yeah, I think it's 16 gauge wire and it is dead soft. You do want to make sure that your wire is quite soft and pliable and easy to work with. So I have these really cool components now that I could do whatevs with. And here I are actually, looks like I've assembled part of my cup chain already. So woohoo, lucky me. All right, what I'm gonna do is kind of plot this out wherever I want it. I kind of want it hung off there, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna grab my chain nose pliers, split up my little jump ring there, hook it onto this guy, hook it onto that guy, bada bing, bada boom, you are set to go. Now trust me, these are easy, fun techniques, you guys. Beading and jewelry making should not be stressful. It should be fun, right? Here we go. So how long should we make this, you guys? Maybe like five links? I think that's a pretty good size. I don't want it to be too over the top. So let me cut it at five. All right, get my wire cutters. Give it a good clip. Now, for those of you who are just now tuning in, we are making some razzling dazzling earrings here um, called rose, rose bush earrings. And I'm using some beautiful cup chain along with the floral shorty strands. Um, these strands are designed in-house by the JJB team and they're absolutely dynamic and beautiful. And I just opened up a strand to acquire these beautiful roses to make for some really fun earrings. So cool, all right. Did you guys see, by the way, I was blabbering about what I was doing, but I didn't get to show you this technique. Now, these are really easy to use. You just simply put it into that cup chain finding. It fits in um, rather well, actually. It's not super snug. And then you just kind of fit the prongs over. Um, that's pretty much it. It's really easy. You know, if I can do it again, you guys can definitely do it. And you just want to pull on it and tug it in different directions to make sure that it's not going to move. All right, one, two, three, four, five. We've counted out five, and I'm going to go ahead and trim and uh, crimp the other one. So super easy, and I'll have a pair of earrings done before the end of this evening. Oh, wait. Ah, guys, I had to catch myself because I was like, this looks a little short. I'm actually doing six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That would have been a tragedy. Gosh, sometimes I just like to do stuff without actually looking at what I'm doing. Or sometimes when I talk, I just keep talking without actually knowing what I'm doing. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, there we go. And another one. Perfect. Really cool. All right, so now we can just find a really sweet spot on this to, oh, look right there. We've got this fun little area right there. Now, I also like this technique because it's gonna prevent my my little rows, which is, drilled all the way through from moving around and shifting back and forth. It'll actually stay in a in a singular direction. Um, so I think that was also an advantage that I just now realized uh, for this particular technique. The messy, the messy rose bush technique is what we're going to call it <laughs> during this video. There we go. Just pinch it nice and good. And voila! I think I can just actually use my jump rings to go ahead and attach that. You could actually attach directly to the earring, but I kind of want to make my earrings go in a singular direction again. So let me attach these real quick and we have some snazzy earrings for the summertime. Things are very summery. And I think the floral sh shorties are certainly very summery beads to have in one's inventory. Here we go. Beautiful. Some sparkle and some wire and it's the perfect combo of different mixed media without going too over the top because uh, it's good to know when to edit your design. <laughs> Here we go. Cool and I'm just gonna press this together. Awesome. You guys, I'm finished. Now, how quick and easy was that? Let me turn the camera around and show you what we're working with here. There we go. All right. Wasn't that easy and fun? I thought it was. I had a great time making them. Let me show you guys what we did. 
and explain some of the technique for those of you who are just now tuning in. We got to create these beautiful rosebush earrings. And what we did was we took, um, we took 18, no, excuse me, 16 gauge wire, wrapped it around our little rose component, and then we attached our cup chain findings together and simply jump ring the whole thing together. Super easy, super dynamic, and hey, I got an original. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that demo. We'll be uh, uploading this video to a couple of different places, so please check it out on the website, www.jessejamesbeads.com. While you're there and you're looking at the shorty strands, they're actually on sale this week. So um, I would definitely check out whatever strands are left because I know that those go extremely quickly. Um, you can definitely check out this video on YouTube and other videos as well. So go to youtube.com and please subscribe. We want you guys to keep up to date on our videos as they are produced. And lastly, I hope you love me because you can check out more of my work at my own brand called Silver Silk and More. The label, which I apologize is backwards, looks like this. So imagine this flipped the correct direction. <laughs> but I actually have a beautiful knitted wire that I sell uh, with my brand. And guys, check this out. Now I spy with my little eyes. These are Jesse James beads. So I love to use these in my demos that I do on Tuesdays um, every every Tuesday at 5.30, so you can check out more Jesse James beads and how to use them on my Silver Silk and More Facebook page. So otherwise, I leave you with a creative, fabulous evening. It's gorgeous outside, so I'm definitely gonna get some sun before I uh, call it a night. And I wanna wish you guys a happy evening, and I hope that this has inspired you, and I definitely look forward to the videos to come. All right, I'll see you guys later, bye.